going on guys it's pete back with you with kilo one checking out a new gun that i just picked up not that long ago uh this is the sig sour p322 and guess what caliber guys it's in 22 lr now this is kind of cool we're gonna go into like a couple cool things about this and what it took sig to come out with their very own 22 pistol the engineering we're going to go over specs. We're going to go over basically everything in and out of this pistol, uh, why it's cool, and why you guys should get this thing. What I'm going to tell you guys is absolutely, this pistol is absolutely amazing for a plinker, shooter, even for hunting, um, for small game, and a really good trainer. If you guys want to spend a little bit less money on training, instead of buying 9mm ammo, even though 9mm ammo is a bit cheaper, it's not 22 cheap, right? So we're going to go ahead and get into this and why I think you guys should pick one up, why I picked one up, and what makes this pistol, this 22 pistol, better than uh, most 22 pistols out there, in my opinion, obviously. All right, let's go ahead and take a look into this. So before we do this beautiful pistola, let's go ahead and go in the box here. So with the pistol, you guys get two 20-round magazines. All right, well, here is the tab to load. The 22 is a little bit easier. Right? You just drag it with your thumb or, or I, I put it in my ammo box. I don't know why I didn't bring it up, but there is a speed loader. There is, I'm not sure why I didn't bring it upstairs. It's probably in my ammo box, but there's a speed loader. Basically, as you pull the speed loader down, it pushes this tab further down as you load those rounds. So it's kind of cool. Um, it's kind of cool that they actually like made something like that that kind of interacts with these tabs as so you don't have to work against it. So you get two of these bad boys. And then I say 20 rounds, 20 rounds. I know most most uh, 22 pistols come with a 10 round mag or it's very rare to find a pistol that comes with 20 round magazines. That's pretty crazy, especially with a compact size 22 pistol. That is pretty freaking cool that they do that. Say so you guys did a really good job with this pistol. I'll tell you guys why. I don't have to stop bragging about it. So uh, it does. It doesn't come with all these uh, extra screws. These are to mount optics. I bought a couple of these. I don't know which way, which uh, optic I'm gonna go with. I don't put. I didn't put an optic on it yet. Yep, guys, it is optic ready. How cool is that? All right. So cool. Another cool feature, and it comes with this. Let me try to focus this guy here. Another cool feature, and it comes with this, is a thread adapter. You guys can put a suppressor or a compensator on it. Also, another cool thing, it does come with a curved trigger. So it comes with a curved trigger or flat. Let me see. There you go. Ooh, flat trigger right there. Um, and then it comes with the Allen key to install that. I put an extra battery in here, but this is some of my, these guys, I, I put them in here. Um, but it comes with your manual, just your state of your art, cool manual. No, I'm kidding. Eh, it just comes with your your basic manual and uh, manual arms and everything and how to take this apart. Cool. Comes with the ATF thing or the AFT as uh, Sleepy Joe says. AFT, you guys can pound rocks. And then, cool little pamphlet where you guys could get 200 rounds for free if you if you guys join USCCA. But, pretty cool. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get into meat and potatoes. So, this pistol has ambi safety, left and right, as you can hear and tell. Very audible. Really easy to actually. Click, 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 click. That's an adult fidget spinner, right? Fidget spinner for adults. Cool. So I did put the flat face trigger on here. Literally, it just slides right off and you just throw the um, the curved in or if you want the flat face, you put the flat in. Um, but yeah, pretty simple. Mag release. And you can switch it out to the other side if you like for those, for your lefties. Uh, takedown lever, pretty obvious. Full dust cover. So you can add your lasers, lights. Um, it does have a plate on it, so it is optics ready. 
I think it is the RMSC Shield Romeo Zero footprint. And then, which is pretty cool, it comes with fiber optic sights. These are actually pretty decent. I really do like them. They are super bright, as you can tell, in the sun or in the daylight. Super bright. You can pick them up pretty quick. Fast acquisition of sights. Cool thing is, is that SIG says that you guys can dry fire it, which is kind of cool, right? I'm still iffy, so I'm not going to do a whole bunch. I'll show you guys the trigger. So that's the break. Reset. Fairly long reset there. And then let's go ahead. So it's a little spongy, it's stiff. You have a little bit of take up. There's a tiny bit of wall. You could barely feel that wall right there. So you could barely feel that wall. There's a little bit of take up. You feel that wall right there and it breaks. Take a look at that reset. long as heck now this is not a striker fired and i'll show you guys this is actually hammer fired single action only and i'll show you guys once we take this down but it is a single action kind of like your 1911s um so it is single action only so right here as you can tell we'll take this down but it is threaded it has a thread protector right on it and you could mount a presser or a compensator to it Let's put a mag in here. All right. It is last round, hold open. So it does hold open on the last round. Fairly easy to actuate the uh, slide release. Let's try that again. Very easy. And cool thing is, slide release on both sides. So like I said, it is fully ambi besides, well, the mag release. But like I said, you can switch that around to the left side. Or I'm sorry, the right side, excuse me. Um, but it is fully ambi. We could try it from this side. Works perfectly fine. Actually, the safety does not work. Safety works pretty well. Bam. It does look like uh, that it does have a feed ramp um, on the on the barrel uh, instead of the magazine. Some 22 pistols have them on the magazine. It's kind of weird. Um, but it's just a dynamic how some of those pistols work, right? They're designed differently. This is designed a lot differently than, you know, a 2245 or one of those GSG 1911s. Uh, so this is a bit different than those, right? So we could drop that. So let's go ahead and take this down. Drop the mag. Make sure you drop that. Otherwise, it is not going to let you push the takedown lever up at all. Let's try that. See, does not let you do that. So let's pull this back, pull that forward, and you push that back again, tilt upwards, and let it let it come off. All right. So just like, yeah, I did I did kind of heavily lube it, but you know, 22s they love being lubed. So I put some Tetra gun grease on it. All right, so as you can tell where the striker is, there's nothing there. Why do you think that is? Well, I'm kind of actually released that to you. So it has a fixed barrel, integrated barrel, just like the PPKs and most 22s. As you can tell, kind of like the P22 by Walther, as it's all integrated. Um, you have the uh, recoil spring right in there. And then look at that, guys. That is the hammer. So it's hammer fired, single action only, as I was saying before. So it's not striker fired like your normal P22s or three uh, P320. Sorry, excuse me. It is totally different than the than the 322s. This guy right here, you take a little wrench, pop that off, you're good to go. Add a suppressor on it, or actually, add the um, the adapter on it, then throw the suppressor right on there. This is super freaking gnarly. I love this gun. Okay, so let's put this back on. If you guys want to, guys. You take off that adapter and you can pull the spring right off. You really don't need to, but if you want to take it down further, you can do so. So put it back together, basically do the opposite. All right, slide that right in, pull this back, drop it down, pull the tab down. There you go, works. So it took them a hundred engineers to design this pistol, if I'm not wrong. Um, basically they wanted a pistol, a 22 pistol that would shoot everything. 
So subsonics, it would shoot your stingers, it would shoot standard rounds, bigger pills like 46 grainers, just fine without without any issues, without even adding a suppressor to it. So you don't you could shoot subsonics all day long without a suppressor and it would cycle just fine. So that's kind of crazy. I've never heard of that through any type of semi-auto, which is absolutely nuts. That's why I wanted to try it. So we're going to have a shooting review here posted soon, probably in the uh, next day or so. And we shall see how well that works. So what, what rounds it likes, what rounds it don't like, uh, what is it fussy with. Um, so we're going to test that out in the next couple of days here. I will post that. So make sure you guys sub like, subscribe, hit that ding dong so you guys know when the video drops and you guys will be able to watch it and see if those rounds actually work and how well this pistol fires. All right, let's go ahead and get into the nitty gritty on here. So fiber optic sights, right? Pretty freaking cool. It is a compact overall length. So from barrel to heel is seven inches overall width. She's a bit chunky, not too bad though. Uh, the width is 1.4 inches height. So from the heel, bottom of the mag, to the top five and a half inches barrel length is four four inches so you'll get some decent velocity out of here um with that four inch barrel the weight it's light guys it's super light it feels i, I thought i was holding an airsoft gun honestly when i first held it uh the weight is let's see here 17.1 ounces sight radius so from the rear to the front the sight radius is six inches Accessory reel is a M1930 sing, uh, trigger single action only, and flat and curved, so it include, includes both. Uh, compact polymer. Uh, the barrel is a carbon steel, which is kind of cool. So uh, you'll be able to shoot thousands and thousands and thousands before that barrel wears out. Right? And the frame is sta stainless steel and polymer, so the uh, the controls on it stainless and the lower is polymer. So the slide finish is hard coat anodized. It's resistant to to wear right off the website. Uh, the details goes the new p322 was completely designed and built by six sour in new hampshire and is loaded with premium features including an optic ready removable rear sight plate so you can easily add a romeo zero red dot without the use of adapter plates so it, you guys don't need adapter plates so that's kind of cool I, I don't really like adapter plates it adds height so you could just integrate it right on there easier right p322 also comes with a threaded barrel adapter making it suppressor ready right out of the box and with ambidextrous controls interchangeable flat and curved trigger fiber optic front and rear sights the new p322 is the highest capacity most advanced 22 in this class it is probably the best 22 especially okay especially if you can put run it through the test and it can shoot those subsonics Man, oh man, I think I'm just going to buy a suppressor for this freaking thing. This is going to be absolutely crazy if it could shoot subsonics without a suppressor. So if it could cycle, great. Uh, I can't wait to shoot this. We're going to have a shooting review here soon, guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, share the crap out of us. If you like these videos, like I said, share it to your friends. Uh, like, subscribe, hit that ding dong button so you guys know when we come out with the next video. We'll be coming out with more videos here. I'm sorry, guys, that it took a pretty long time. Uh, we just had a new addition to the family. We had a little baby, so I'm caught up with that with uh, daddy duties. So, But now I have a little bit of free time and we'll be adding more videos. So please stay tuned. We have, I just bought a Daniel Def Defense a DDM4 v7 uh we have a mossberg shotgun to review uh we have a used that I picked up from pawn store pawn store, pawn store special that we'll go through which is a glock 34 gen 3 uh and another 17 gen 3 so and then a couple other guns too guys we picked up a uh a glock 48 we'll do a review on that we picked up a bunch of pistols here please stay tuned oh and a rifle of course Oh, and a 22, which we did from a pawn store. We'll test that out too, which was super cheap. Thank you so much for being part of Kilo One family for two years now, only two years. So help us grow more, please. We're, we're begging you. And if you guys have a couple of bucks, please donate down at Patreon. Well, as the Patreon family grows, as this uh, family grows with Kilo One, uh, we'll add cool things like challenge coins at mugs, uh, different things for every month like shirts and stuff. Uh, so stay tuned. We love you guys. Freedom on.